Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse the video game Rook City Edition. In the last episode we beat the Matriarch, which is the end of all of the new Rook City villains. So this time, we're gonna start it from the beginning in advance mode, starting with Plague Rat. Plague Rat's advanced condition, increase damage dealt by Plague Rat and by infected heroes by one. That can be a blessing and a curse. Infected heroes deal themselves and occasionally other heroes damage, but their damage to Plague Rat also gets increased, so keep that in mind when you're playing. Also, increasing the damage dealt by one is not the end of the world, but it definitely makes things more intense and can sort of ramp up that whole damage race thing that you've got going on with him. I am going to take Legacy, my favorite variant of Tachyon, Wraith, and Expatriate. This team is a bit of a combination team. I'm going for big damage, Damage, reduction, and, of course, ongoing control. Removal. Oh, I shouldn't have scared. He just, he just says rawr. <laughs> it's not any different. All right, let's see what we're going to get. We are playing in Pike Industries. I used to think that this was kind of his home field because of all the rats, but no, his home field is Rook City because he, he lives in the sewers of Rook City. All right. We're gonna start taking some damage. We can see right away we are taking two from the Plague Locust and then three because he's being permanently increased. It is pretty, well, I guess you could live without taking out Plague Locust. I am going to try. All right, bolster allies. It's always a good opening play. And there's an um, inspiring presence in hand, which is always what you wanna see. <sighs> All right, what I really need from Wraith is I need a Stun Bolt. Hypersonic Assault would also be pretty nice from Tachyon. Okay, Fleet of Foot. Starting off with some card draw. There's a Lightspeed Barrage. Don't need it yet, but I guess it's nice to have it. Micro-targeting computer is a very nice tactical shotgun. That's my opening play of choice. Let's play this. And I guess... We can play Sucker Punch. Just get it in our trash. Speaking of getting things in the trash, let's get that started now. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of a waste of a hypersonic assault. Oh, well. As with everything else with Tachyon, if you're playing it out of the bottom of her deck, you weren't going to get it anyway. Alright. It's never a bad thing to have him not dealing damage early. There definitely could have been better times to play that, but oh, well. Ooh, another pushing the limits. All right. Ooh, stun bolts in the opening hand. Man, I'm getting lucky here. He's not dealing damage right now, so I think I'm actually gonna. Well, no, I'll play stun bolt first. There's no point playing micro, micro targeting computer if there's nothing to actually do with it. We still do want to deal damage to him and his stuff. All right, and I remember we had a tactical shotgun in hand, and we've got a bunch of ammo. We've got the good ammo too. All right, and we even have Quick Draw so we can start building up to Pride and Prejudice. Not sure we need to though, with all the ammo we have in hand, I might just keep using the Tactical Shotgun. If I get another Quick Draw or if I get one of the two guns, I'll try to do that instead. All right, Rat meets Rat. Luckily this guy's not doing all that much right now. Bestial Vitality. Did we see this one? I'm not sure we did. This... I'll refresh everybody's memory on what this, uh, this ongoing is. This is Afflicted Frenzy. At the start of each hero turn, if that hero target is infected, they deal 8 X melee damage to the hero with the highest HP, where X equals the number of infected heroes. We saw that last time. Bestial Vitality. Reduce damage dealt to Plague Rat by 1. At the end of the villain turn, Plague Rat regains 3 HP. Not fantastic. Do we have any ongoing removal in hand? We don't. Ooh, that's not great. Might have to take some turns trying to find that. Neither of those ongoings are particularly good. And unfortunately, we didn't take Visionary in, so we're not going to have one, uh, one card that just removes ongoings permanently. Um, oh, you can play up to two. None of these let me draw, do I now? All right, well... I guess all I can do for now is just keep moving forward like normal and hope I draw something good. Now would be a nice time for an ongoing roll. Yes, there it is! 
Blinding speed. <sighs> I think I'm actually going to get rid of Bestial Vitality. I don't like Afflicted Frenzy, but it's not hurting us right now, and I would like to do as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. Ooh, got the third pushing the limits. We are drawing extremely well in this game. Gonna play that, going for the grapple beam. Or, beam, grappling hook. Got it! Sweet. Alright, um... Probably not going to be using an inventory barrage. Probably not going to be using a combat stance. Alright. Let's see how much this damage reduction is actually worth. It's not a strategy I use with Plague Rat that often because a lot of his damage is irreducible, but not all of it is. Alright. Let's uh, play this ammo card. Increase the damage of that card's power by one and change its type to fire. We don't care about that, but... We like increasing damage by one. Look at that. Okay, environment, what are you gonna do? Ooh, we don't like this one. I don't think we actually got this. I don't think we've seen this yet. Super cool tr uh, Tri Solvent Vat. Whenever a player plays a hero card, deal their hero one cold damage. At the end of the environment turn, deal each target one cold damage, one toxic damage, and one energy damage. I hate that enough that I might actually grappling hook it. I'm just gonna skip through this. This is just all of us taking three damage, including Plague Rat. <laughs> Vicious Onslaught. Plague Rat deals each hero target other than the hero target with the lowest HP, two melee damage, and two toxic damage, and does not infect anyone. That's notable. Not a lot of his cards do that. Alright, so Stun Bolt is affecting that. But yeah, it's not that often that you see Plague Rat doing a lot of damage and not infecting a hero. Which, uh, given that we have that ongoing on the board that I'm not actually going to destroy right now, I'm happy to see that. Alright, it's worth taking the damage for this. Always worth playing a takedown. In fact, I think I'm going to take the damage for everybody. Um... I, this is every time, right? Not just the first... Yeah, it's not just the first time. <sighs> There's nothing I super duper want to play right now. I think I'll do that. And let's see what we get here, because if we get another blinding speed, that will be worth it. We didn't, but we did get a quick insight, which is good. Because now maybe I can draw a blinding speed. <laughs> Hut goggles is nice. No blinding speed. That's too bad. Alright, just get rid of bursts. And interesting, it does not count as uh, playing a card in the sense that we're not taking damage from the VAT. There's a hypersonic assault. That's good. Alright, do I hate this enough that I want to grappling hook it over this? What is Thirt Jab? Thirt Jab is just the target that gets hit, right? Yeah, so that's not going to do anything about infected heroes. We need that Vat gone. I can't... I can't take damage like that every time I play a card. It's, it's going to add up too quickly. Ugh, that kind of sucked, but whatever. I really need to play micro-targeting computer. <laughs> I really need to draw a Razor Ordinance, and a utility belt is what I need to do. Alright, let's keep uh, loading up our gun. He's almost a half. This has been going exceptional. Ooh, and there's the second quick draw. Interesting. Oh, of course it plays a chemical explosion immediately. Alright, so it would have gotten rid of that vat. Well, there goes synaptic interruption. Ugh, that's just the nature of things. You can't predict the future unless you're visionary. So, while I don't regret making the play that I made, it is kind of a shame. <laughs> Alright. He's only doing two damage to us each turn, which is, you know, not so bad. Advanced mode Plague Rat is not the scariest of villains. He gets super extra scary later. Um, yeah, let's just do damage. As much damage as possible. 
Fortitude is not super important against a villain that mostly deals irreducible damage. It's not useless, but it's not as important as it would be in some other games. I've got 14 cards in my trash. 10 of them are bursts. Not bad. Um, yeah, let's go with Sonic Vortex. Some extra damage. It's not like there's ever really going to be another target to do anything with, and, and except the rats, but eh, I don't really care about the rats. I think we're getting ready to do a big finisher, honestly. Oh, no, no, that's good, sorry. I forgot, he still has an ongoing out. Perfect, then. Yeah, it's definitely going to be time for a big finisher soon. Depending on how the rest of this turn goes, I might actually play Lightspeed Barrage next round. Where is micro-targeting computer? There it is. Wow, I could not have asked for a better playgrat fight. I suspect an infection is coming, just because there's always one coming soon, but we are absolutely about to win. Does this increase damage? It does! Should have been using that from the start. Yeah, we've got this next round. Lightspeed Barrage isn't going to take him out, but it's going to set Wraith up to take him out. And if she doesn't, the next Patriot's going to do it. Hey, it's a rat. Hi, rat. Take a little nibble. <laughs> Sewer Fiend! Just to refresh our memory there, Plague Rat is immune to toxic damage. We don't care. Whenever Plague Rat would be dealt damage by an environment card, redirect that damage to an infected hero. If there's no infected heroes, prevent that damage instead. Alright, so we got a rare game against Plague Rat where nobody got infected. Tachyon is still uh, below 10, but who cares? We're going to take him out. Wow. This guy usually puts up more of a fight than this. Not that I'm going to complain, because I'm recording late at night and I need to go to bed. <laughs> Can't help it, I'm hustling. <laughs> Alright. Um, this just lets you draw, not play, correct. Okay, but you, but I can play two. So I'll play that to get it into the trash. See if I can get anything else into the trash, which, in fact, I can. Any of these bursts? Nope. And <laughs> just for the sake of it, I will play a Lightning Reflexes. I don't think I'm going to get the chance to play the second Lightspeed Barrage, but if I could, then I would have. And that would be the end of Advanced Playgrat. Nice, quick, easy game. Nice to have those every now and then. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Sentinels of the Multiverse, the video game Rook City Edition. And in, uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode where we fight Advanced Spite. Bye-bye!